Synthesizers are the new wave. Why work hard on difficult compositions when a machine can make music better than you've ever dreamed of? You'll be the hit of the party. It's perfect for in-restaurant entertainment, cover bands, and funerals. Make fuse... Mr. Vercetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was gonna follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with well, just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. It doesn't have to be like this. Sure lost, mate, innit? All right, me old China. That's hanging. What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Come here. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, they've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks. Oh. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. And finally, we have Barry Stark, author of the book, As Nature Intended. He's the editor of Vice City's Naturist News, and is working feverishly, it says here, to bring more nude recreation to Vice City. To protect the dignity of our other panelists, we place Mr. Barry Stark behind a divider. I'm naked back here. It's my right as a person. <laughs> yes. Let's start with the obvious, yes? Is it moral to be naked? Yes, you can't stop me. Well, I'm a mother, so I have to deal with this issue every day. My adorable kids have learned that it's wrong to be naked. When it's bath time, they know to put on a bathing costume. That's, that's also the reason there are no mirrors in my house. Nudity leads to bad, naughty things. Maurice, if I may interrupt, I haven't worn clothes since 1982. Clothes are seriously unnatural. Didn't you guys learn anything from the 60s? I had a revelation when I was in holiday in Germany. I had always felt very constricted. Move that piece of shit off the corpse wall! Who are 
you. Oh, all right, not the face, not the face. Oh, I talk, I talk. people like you we're shielding ourselves from. Liberals, degenerates, the Welsh. They're the ones responsible for the nightmare Vice City is today. The crime in the streets, the parties, the children born out of wedlock to a future of hopelessness. Anyone who does not agree with me is mentally sick and should be shot, I'm afraid to say. We need to build a place to escape these transgressions. Whew, <laughs> that's extreme stuff, Buster. But we'll leave amateur eugenics for a minute and ask our other panelists. Jen, you're a mom. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm gonna go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back. Got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right. Everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. Working out what's best for my kids and screw anyone else. That's what this country's all about. I mean, I mean, I saw the hippies. What a load of claptrap. But what's your kid going to do at a school with a name like Moonbeam or Wave or Horseradish or whatever they call them? How can you take your kid to a Little League game when you live in a communal farm growing drugs? It's awful. And that's what my life is about, looking down on others. Yes, I think I can see that now. Moving on, Pastor Richards in... just how important the family unit is in life. He's working hard so I can get another station wagon with even more wood on it. Go on. Tell me more about your family. Um, well, I like to compare it to nature. After all, it is one planet, even if we do just want to maim and kill each other, especially me. Now, look at sharks and sandworms. Oh, and one of my hobbies, besides making babies and criticizing people, is biology. 
you learn so much from nature. People these days, they don't grow their own food. They can barely get out of their recliners and make it to the supermarket. <laughs> I tell you, there is nothing super about that place. Now, kid